Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas football back here at the Texas High School Coaches Association Convention. We are here with the head coach of those Klein Forest Golden Eagles, Coach Jonathan Wilson. Coach, I uh, appreciate you taking a few minutes to chat with us this afternoon on a busy first day of coaching school. Yes, sir, absolutely. I appreciate you having us, and I appreciate everything y'all do for uh, Texas high school football. I mean, they pay, they pay me to watch football and eat good press box food, so I can't complain too much. Yeah, right? you got I mean, a great job. I, I try, I try. And, and, and I, I'm I'm undefeated as a head coach. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't think I'll ever I, I don't think I'll, I'll ever lose a game. Cause yeah. I'm never going to coach one. So no, definitely. Uh, so I, everybody, you know, I get to guy, be the guy who who thinks I'm smart. But really, you guys down on the field are, are getting it done. And 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 for you, especially taking over at your alma mater a few years ago, a program that really had been struggling quite a bit. I mean, let's just be honest. You know, mm -hmm. Klein Forest. I mean, when I first got into this business, Klein Forest was a powerhouse. Yeah, absolutely. Klein Forest was a team that that was regularly the best team in Klein ISD and, and we know how good the football is in Klein ISD so to be to be the best team in the district means a lot and I know that the school went through some some down times and you guys have gotten that thing turned around where, where you're playing competitive football week in and week out and it's testament to you and your coaches that what's been the biggest thing when you came in to try to get that thing what, what did you need to get done first to get the program turned around the one thing I wanted to do was get a, to build a coaching staff uh, of former players that are now coaches that went to the school because I felt like uh, Klein Forest guys knew what a Klein Forest kid was all about. They knew uh, the community, they knew the neighborhood, and they knew how to reach the kids. So we have about four to five, maybe six guys on our staff that are Klein Forest alumni, including myself. And, uh, you know, we just did a good job of getting in the hallways, getting the community, and getting the kids to buy in. It's been great. Uh, and I feel the buy-in from, from our uh, parents, from our kids, from our teachers, our admin. So it's been great, and uh, we're really enjoying it right now. So now, now that you've gotten the program, you know, out from the kind of the cellar and you guys have been competitive, mm -hmm. I know the next step for you guys is you want to get into the playoffs and start challenge for a district championship, which is, is saying something in that, in that district. It's always really tough. In order to take that, take that next step, what, what do you think you guys need to do to take that next step? Uh, we got to play one game at a time. You know, right now uh, we're getting a lot of attention, uh, social media attention, college attention. Uh, a bunch of kids got offers. Uh, got a lot of good players over there. Got a lot of good players. Yeah. Yeah. But we got to take it one game at a time. We cannot look forward to the next game. We cannot look forward to the playoffs. So um, I know you've heard this model several times, you know, trying to go 1-0 every yeah. week. You yeah. know, not trying to move down the road. But going 1-0 and, and making that team, whoever we're playing, the main focus and the only focus at, at that time. Well, it, because, I mean, if you look ahead in your district, yeah. you're going to get beat on, mm -hmm. Friday, on Friday night or Saturday night when you guys are playing. Because everybody in that district really plays. You know, there's a lot of good coaches and a lot, a lot of good football week in and week out. And, and I, I know that that's got to be a message you're you're bringing home to your kids every week. Is look, we can't we can't afford to look past anybody because those guys on the other side of the field are good enough to beat us if we don't bring our A game. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, when you come to coaching school, you know, you're you're not you're a young coach. And congratulations on the forty under forty, by Thank the way. Thank you, man. I appreciate uh, that. Uh, making that when you come to coaching school, you know, you're. you're is there like a bucket list of things you want to get done each and every coast of school, or are you trying to uh, to really, uh, you know, just network with coaches and, and see some, see some of the guys who coached you in the past and see some guys you played ball with, that kind of thing? Are, you, are there some things you wanted to get done, like, you know, vendors you wanted to see, that kind of thing? Yeah, um, but speaking of bucket list, you know, being uh, on that list of uh, top 40 under 40, that was always a goal of mine. Yeah. And uh, the first two years I didn't make it, and, and uh, it was something that I strive to do, um, and I finally got it done. But that, that is something that I strive to do. As far as when I come here to coaching school, networking is big. Uh, networking with high school coaches, networking with middle school coaches, and then networking with your college coaches, the yeah. people that you're communicating with about kids, uh, you're promoting your kids to these people. Um, lastly, uh, learning football. I heard uh, Coach Sarkeesian talk about how you're a forever learner, and he was talking about how uh, it was a guy from Texas A&M talking, and he stepped in the clinic just to listen to see what's the new trend, what's the new gimmick, what's the new scheme, and you're always going to be learning as a as a coach. So every time I go in the clinic, I get my notepad out and I start taking notes. Even you try to take one thing, right? One thing. Yeah. Even if it's something I've heard a thousand times, I'm gonna write it down anyways. Just or a to, drill or a anything. Drill, right? Anything. So I think everybody in this building, including vendors, media, we can all get better from this convention. It's it's a great. Thing. Well, and coaches are the biggest thieves in the world, yeah. right? You know yeah, what I mean? We are. No, nobody's really <laughs> inventing anything. You're just trying exactly. to pick, and, pick yeah. and choose a few things from yeah. here and there. And I want to yeah. ask you about your, your path as a, as a coach. Who are some of the uh, – as, as you know, when you were first getting into coaching, maybe when you were a player as well, who are some of the coaches that meant a lot to you and that really mentored you and helped you get to the point where you are today? Well, first, uh, my receiver coach in college, his name is David Beatty. Uh, he ended up being a head coach at Kansas for a little while. He was head coach at Irving MacArthur. Yeah, he was. He was a high school coach. And that's why I say that he kind of mentored me and groomed me a little bit. And But once I got into the profession, probably the biggest mentor I've had is Jason Glenn. And I worked with him for five years. And 
Uh, great I just, guy. Yeah, great he's guy, a great guy. Just awesome. And uh, he didn't necessarily pull me in their office and say, hey, this is how you do that. I just watched him every single day. Watched him, watched him, watched him. So when I became a head coach, I think the transition was very easy because I just watched him, uh, the things he did, and he mentored me and still mentors me to this day. So And I feel like he's one of those great. guys you could pick up the phone and call him oh, right absolutely. now, and he, if he had a question about something, he'd be able to answer absolutely. it. Absolutely. He's that's such one, a good guy. Yeah, and that's one thing we try to preach to all of our coaches. We're trying to – groom coaches and you know, whether they're the freshman coaches, you know, middle school coaches, uh, those coaches are watching you. So it's important to do the right things and, uh, you know, help coaches along the way. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. Uh, congratulations on the success at, at Klein Forest. Uh, good luck in 2022. We're, we're expecting good things from you guys. We're excited to see you guys play. And uh, we appreciate what you do for student athletes here in the state of Texas. Yes, sir. I appreciate you guys. Great Thank job. You. Yes, sir.